Uh, if I say I'm going to do something, come hell or high water, it gets done. I respect that. It's, uh, it's important. Uh, if your word isn't worth anything, then you ain't worth anything. Enjoy the moment, in, enjoy the present. There's a reason why it's called the present. I don't know, you know as a kid you look up to people and you're like, oh, they're so old and they're like responsible and then you get to that age and you're like, I feel no different. It's just a number. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I feel like an adult or not. And I always say it to my daughter and now that you're asking me it, it like, told, my mom always used to say, What did she say? Love who you are. She would say it in Spanish, she would say make more sense, but she used to say, love who you are and love what's different. Yeah. Can you say it in Spanish too? So she would say, ama quien tu era y ama todo lo que es diferente. So it's kind of a quote to say like, to not be fearful of what's different from what you're used to. Well, I, I read a book. Um, I can say talk about that a little bit. Yeah. My aunt uh, recommended it to me because it's written by a woman who was at a crossroads in her life, similar to where I'm at now. Um, and she was trying to think about what she wanted to do with her life. She got a master's in creative writing. Um, yeah, and it talked about like how what now, the question of what now is something that is a continual process and it's not something you should just be asking yourself at a specific crossroads, but you're always gonna have moments in your life where you're questioning and challenging and thinking about what, what exactly you're doing and what the purpose of it is and if it's fulfilling or not. So, yeah. It might be, um, it's either Marx or Bakunin, but it's there's nothing to be done about it except live one's life to the hilt. Come to think of it, it might be Nietzsche. I like to think that they're all good, right? You know, I like to think that that absolutely everybody that we come into contact is a good person. Um, but the reality is, right, is we don't know, right? I see someone for five minutes, 20 minutes, half hour, right? So I'm not gonna get their life story unless they ride on my bus all the time, right? But, um, you know, you never know what somebody's history is or what somebody's background is, you know, just by looking at them, you know. I don't know whether somebody's been in jail, whether they just got out, whether they're, you know, escaping an abusive relationship, whether they're, you never know, right? So, you know, I like to think that everybody's good and give them that, that benefit of the doubt, but again, you never know, right? So, yeah.